So if you're clicking down through the page, then you just came from the Morning Devotional by uh, Spurgeon. And now uh, you've clicked on this to listen to the Evening Devotional by Spurgeon. I just wanted to make reference to the fact that uh, my mom, uh, I found in her house year after year when I would go visit a well-worn, really kind of a falling apart uh, uh, book, The Morning and Evening by Spurgeon, that she would have laying around, that she would uh, pretty much always have open to the page for that date uh, as it was part of her devotional uh, routine to uh, to read these. Uh, hopefully you find this to be a blessing each week as we do it also. So now we'll have the evening uh, by Charles Spurgeon. This evening's text is found in Hosea chapter 11 and verse 4. I drew them with cords of a man, with bands of love. Our Heavenly Father often draws us with the cords of love. But ah, how backward we are to run towards Him! How slowly do we respond to His gentle impulses! He draws us to exercise a more simple faith in Him. But we have not yet attained to Abraham's confidence. We do not leave our worldly cares with God. But, like Martha, we cumber ourselves with much serving. Our meager faith brings leanness into our souls. We do not open our mouths wide, though God has promised to fill them. Does He not this evening draw us to trust Him? Can we not hear Him say, Come, my child, and trust me? The veil is rent. Enter into my presence, and approach boldly to the throne of my grace. I am worthy of thy fullest confidence. Cast thy cares on me. Shake thyself from the dust of thy cares, and put on thy beautiful garments of joy. But alas! Though called with tones of love to the blessed exercise of this comforting grace, we will not come. At another time he draws us to closer communion with himself. We have been sitting on the doorstep of God's house, and he bids us advance into the banqueting hall and sup with him, but we decline the honor. There are secret rooms not yet open to us. Jesus invites us to enter them, but we hold back. Shame on our cold hearts! We are but poor lovers of our sweet Lord Jesus, not fit to be His servants, much less to be His brides, and yet He hath exalted us to be bone of His bone, and flesh of His flesh, married to Him by a glorious marriage covenant. Herein is love, but it is love which takes no denial. If we obey not the gentle drawings of His love, He will send affliction to drive us into closer intimacy with Himself. Have us nearer He will. What foolish children we are to refuse those bands of love, and so bring upon our backs that scourge of small cords, which Jesus knows how to use.